fuckers. <laughs> I, uh, I like, I like to drink. Uh, I like to drink at parties. I like to drink at picnics at the park. I like to drink at pubs. I like to drink at clubs. I like to drink at cafes. Like soy latte, rack off. I'll have a shot of whiskey in my coffee, please. Uh, I like to drink at weddings. I like to drink at funerals. I like to drink at Oz kick matches. I like to drink at school concerts. I like to drink at rehab. I like to drink. Right? And I know there's some people out there that go, you know what, I don't need to drink to have a good time. I don't need to drink to have a good time. I can go out, have a good time without drinking. You know what, same here, right? Sometimes I'm quite happy just to sit at home and stare at a wall. <laughs> maybe build some Lego. <laughs> maybe, maybe I drink at parties. So you're more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, here's the thing, right? As a, um, as a woman, uh, as, a, as a gay woman, uh, suck it, uh, <laughs> that works in the arts, um, Tony Abbott ticks all my boxes. Um, <laughs> So, uh, a while ago, I, I wrote him a letter. Um, I'll just, I'll, I'll share it with you. <clears throat> Dear Tony Abbott, firstly, may I say thank you. Thank you so much. Finally, someone with some vision and ability and leadership to take over the portfolio for women. <laughs> for too long, it's simply been women taking care of other women. And you know women can't take care of other women because we all know women intrinsically hate other women. <laughs> I mean, you'd know that firsthand being the father of three daughters. It takes a real man to take care of a real woman. Well, all women. I'm writing to you as I felt you would be the best person to seek advice from, given you are the Minister for Women's Affairs. In the past few months, I've experienced an irregular period and a painful heavy flight. <laughs> Do you recommend I lie on the floor of the shower in the fetal position, <laughs> gently whimpering for 20 minutes, or taking four painkillers, getting into bed with a hot water bottle and eventually passing out from the pain? <laughs> I'm also quite interested to know your experience with thrush. <laughs> I'm often told natural yogurt is a good remedy, but to be honest, that just seems messy. <laughs> also, do you find you get a lot, of, a lot of unwanted attention and possible fondling of your private bits? Because quite clearly, you must be asking for it by constantly wearing nothing but a pair of Speedos. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm joking. But I feel it necessary to point this out because quite clearly, you're a dumb cunt. <laughs> The only way you can justify being the Minister of Women's Affairs is if there were no women. <laughs> and even then you would have to change the title to the Minister of Where Are All The Women? <laughs> <clears throat> However, given your current cabinet, that's probably a justified question. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Geraldine. I've got a response. <clears throat> Dear Geraldine, thank you for your letter. It's so nice when a woman such as yourself takes time out from doing the ironing or the cooking <laughs> or whatever household duties you're doing to sit down and put pen to paper. I'm very sorry to hear about your women problems. In regards to your irregular period, I would recommend the first option of lying on the floor of the shower. The abolishing of the carbon tax means you can lie in the fetal position for a little longer without worrying how much it will cost. 
The money that you save means you can buy the good natural yogurt. <laughs> and yes, it can be messy, but you'll know how to clean it up. <laughs> I unfortunately don't get enough attention. I wear my speedos in the hope my wife will reach out and touch me rather than look at me with soulless eyes. I'm a very lonely man that just wants to be loved. I yearn for physical touch from another human being, even just a handshake. But when I try to do it a fancy way for the camera, one hand ends up alone, just like my heart. I get teased because of my big ears. Dumbo, they call me. Tony Dumbo Abbott. I wish I did have Dumbo ears so I could fly far, far away. <laughs> to a land where I had a palace and I could finally become a knight and eat all the onions I want. <laughs> Your mate, Tony. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Hickey, thank you very much for that. Jeremy Hickey, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs>